welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. As always, we bring you news on technology, medical cybernetics, and artificial intelligence every Monday. And here are the top stories of the last week. Massachusetts Institute of Technology with DARPA support has trained its robot cheetah to identify and leap over objects in its path. The team says it has now trained the first four-legged robot capable of jumping over hurdles autonomously as it runs. The last time we heard from the researchers working on its robotic cheetah project that they had untethered their machine to let it bound freely across the campus lawns. Wireless and with a new spring in its step, the robot hit speed of 6 km per hour and could jump 33 cm into the air. The quadrupedal robot has now been given another upgrade in the form of a LIDAR system and special algorithms allowing it to detect and leap over obstacles in its path. With an onboard LIDAR system, the machine is now able to use reflections from a laser to map the terrain. This data is partnered with a special algorithm to dictate the robot's next moves. The robotic cheetah project has been in the works for a few years now. The team's view is that the efficiency with which Earth's fastest animal goes about its business holds many lessons for the world of robotic engineering. Imagine if you could have a robot that could drive around on crazy terrain for ground surveillance, then lift off for aerial surveillance. That would be a pretty versatile little robot. Obviously, there would be some practical concerns. So, what would be the best solution? For example, two robots that can work together in tandem. Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, have designed a system that allows its Velociroad robot to launch an Ornithopter micro-aerial vehicle. The 32-gram roach boat was fitted with supports that enables it to carry the 13-gram robotic bird micro-aerial vehicle and can reach speed of 2.7 meters per second, more than fast enough to provide takeoff velocity. The Velocity Roach cannot take off from a stationary position. It could be launched by being thrown like a paper airplane, which could provide a better takeoff angle and enough velocity for the robot to continue on its own. Seeking to advance minimally invasive medical treatments, researchers have proposed using tiny robots driven by magnetic potential energy from magnetic resonance imaging MRI scanners. The researchers described the work in a paper presented this week during the International Conference of Robotics and Automation in Seattle. The paper details a technique for generating large impulsive forces that can be used to penetrate tissue and approach based on sending tiny dynamic robotic components to a desired location and triggering the conversation of magnetic potential energy into enough kinetic energy to penetrate tissue. Hydrocephalus, among other conditions, is a candidate for correction by the Miller robots because the ventricles are fluid-filled and connect to the spinal canal. Using an MRI scanner, the researchers mapped roads on high-quality brain images, hacking the scanner to harness the MRI's own magnetic field to push the small robots. The team demonstrated use of magnetic forces to activate needle biopsy robots and to walk robots around an MRI. Future work will focus on exploring clinical context, miniaturizing the device and optimizing material selection. Damage recovery algorithm could make all robots unstoppable. Using an exceptionally clever algorithm, the robots have demonstrated that they can shrug off absurd amounts of damage, adapting within minutes to recover their mobility, even if you chop a third of their legs off. Once damaged, the robot becomes like a scientist. It has prior expectations about different behaviors that might work and begins testing them. However, these predictions come from the simulated undamaged robot. It has to find out which of them work, not only in reality, but given the damage. Each behavior it tries is like an experiment, and if one behavior doesn't work, the robot is smart enough to rule out that entire type of behavior and try a new type. Recovering from damage is just one application for this algorithm. It can also be used to adapt to different terrain or to develop new behaviors for unforeseen situations. Since all of this happens autonomously and the robot can learn new behaviors as often as it's necessary, it would be ideal for planetary exploration where no matter what happens, the robot is going to have to just find some way of continuing to operate as best as it can without any direct human assistance. Researchers from Massachusetts Institute of Technology demonstrated an untethered miniature origami rabbit that self-folds, walks, swims and dissolves into nothing. This is the first time that a rabbit has been able to demonstrate a complete life circle like this and eventually it will be doing it inside your body. The unfolded robot, which is made of a magnet and PVC sandwiched between laser-cut structural layers, polystyrene paper, weighs just one-third of a gram and measures 17 millimeters on the side. Once placed on a heating element, the PVC contracts and where the structural layers have been cut, it creates folds. In under a minute, the robot is finished and is ready to go, zipping around at speed of between 3 and 4 centimeters per second. 
A caveat to all of this is that the motor of the robot isn't really integrated into the whole self-folding and dissolving thing. The motor comes in two parts, a cubic neodymium permanent magnet that the robot folds itself around, and then a set of four electromagnetic coils underneath the surface that the robot operates on to provide the magnetic fields that drive it. Once you're done messing around, you can drive the robot into a tank of acetone, it will entirely dissolve, except for the magnet. It is also possible to make the structural layer of the robot out of a material that dissolves in water. Making the entire robot dissolve in water is a bit trickier, but the researchers seem confident that it will be possible in the near future. Here's almost all for today. For the dessert, we have prepared amazing footage showing contestants for upcoming DARPA Robotic Challenge that will take place in Pomona, California on June 5th and 6th. Who will win this challenge? Many robots will have to grasp, move and generally use all the abilities to complete a number of serious tasks, so have a look at the last-minute preparations. And that is all for Avatar Technology Digest. You're welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media and join the global conversation. Take care and see you next Monday. Thank you.